What's up, everybody, and welcome to Latin Nation, celebrating you and me from coast to coast. I'm Umberto. And I'm Gabriela. And today's show may have you bouncing off the walls in the near future, literally. Umberto and I went to play trampoline dodgeball at Sky High Sports, and it was an experience I'll never forget. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing us compete for the first time. I'm on a beach, I promised. All right, guys, it's time for this week's The Rant, our address to the Latin Nation. Now, today I want to talk about the elephant in the room, or maybe I should say the elephant in the coffee shop, blogging about Chill Wave and the latest organic techniques in pickling. I speak, of course, of the hipster. Now, it used to be that hipsters were limited to airy-fairy white kids, gentrifying urban settings like Williamsburg in New York or Silver Lake in LA, but today hipster culture has found its way into all areas of the mainstream, including our very own Latin nation. That's right, and you know, there's different kinds of hipsters, but the easiest ones to spot are the 20-somethings who grew up in the suburbs and moved to the city for college or open mic poetry nights or whatever. They walk around in their skinny jeans, thick rim glasses, and wear scarves. In fact, they love scarves even in the summertime. That's right. Now, the reason that I bring this up uh, is because no one's ever admitted to being a hipster, including our co-host, Gabriela, who's the biggest hipster on the show. I think you're the biggest hipster on the show, you know? <laughs> I'm not a hipster. Well, yes, you are, and I have some proof, okay? Why don't we just start? Listen, I'm calling for a hipstervention, all right? Hipster. First of all, look at this photo. Just look at you being slowly choked to death by a hipster scarf. It was cold. Okay, what about this warning picture, okay? Are you too cool for the color spectrum that you have to have a picture taken out of focus? You know, it sounds like you're just jealous that my mysterious life is so artfully documented. Okay, what about this picture? You made these poor indigenous Ecuadorians take precious time off just so that you can Instagram okay. them? Okay, first, first of all, it's Flickr and, and they're Peruvians living in Ecuador, racist. Okay, what about this picture? This really takes the canoa cake. I guess hybrids and unicycles are too mainstream for you. You have to go to work in a burro, a donkey? It's environmentally friendly! You, you know what, okay, fine. Maybe I like to wear scarves and eat quinoa paninis from Whole Foods and listen to Florence and the Machine, but it's not like I use a rotary phone or listen to everything on vinyl or shop at flea markets. Okay, maybe I shop at flea markets. Okay, you do. Can we just move on to Anexion? Please, move to Anexion. <sighs> so, Umberto here seems to think that I need to indulge in my aggressive side, the part of me that I've been trying to suppress. He also seems to think he's an expert in psychoanalysis. Seriously. Anyway, so we chose a sport that would allow both of us to let off a little steam. But one thing about Umberto is that he's not going to go easy on me just because I'm slightly smaller and have perfectly manicured nails. Because I respect you. I'm a feminist. Anyway, we went out to Sky High Sports and discovered the wonders of trampoline dodgeball. Pretty friggin' awesome. Check it out. In Acción is brought to you by the U.S. Army. They're strong, then there's Army Strong. So we're at all indoor trampoline park. Yeah! Here we go! You know, our dodgeball is probably our most popular court. Trampoline dodgeball has all the fun of regular dodgeball, except you can go up and down as well as side to side. Okay, you've had to have hit the center like once to learn your lesson, right? <laughs> We're gonna have five people on each side. When you're dodging the ball, you're not just going like this. You can jump six feet in the air to avoid a ball rather than just falling down on the ground. You get hit, you're out. Get up! I'm gonna bounce onto that trampoline, spring it up, and, and throw. Nice. You think it's like, oh, I'm gonna go out and play on a trampoline? We're not 12 anymore. <laughs> it takes a lot of cardio to get out there. Ah! Oh, yes. It's more challenging than regular dodgeball because of the extra dimension. Higher ground gives you the advantage, so. You're gonna wanna come up here and come down on your opponent. I tried to give them both a little bit of direction and I think Gabriella did really well. Come on, there it is, there it is, yes. woo! Humberto, eh, not so much. Oh God, no. Forgot the drop. Oh no. He's very excited, like a four-year-old. Yeah. He's kind of out there and all over the place. <laughs> we'll see if he remembers what I taught him. Is everybody ready? Here we go. And dot ball. <laughs> there it is, there it is. Oh yeah. You know, I, I really don't understand why don't you have, why don't you have any faith in me? You don't look like, you know, like the, the thickest, strongest what? person. Oh, 
Ooh, hey, who almost threw that at me? A lot of fighting here. I'm gonna be on Gabriella's team, so I'm pretty sure she's gonna win. Oh! Humberto, it's all you against us. Hey, where's my key? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta call that a lucky shot. Get up! <laughs> no, it's okay. Look, I dropped it. You win. Oh. I'm a gentleman. <laughs> what a gentleman I am. All right, now this, I'm sweaty. I feel like it's a